Hi, Wendy. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Um, I think I'm okay. So happy Friday, TGIF. Um, is your day okay? Is your day going fine? Yes. A, a little... Um, what do you say? How do you say? I don't sell travel tickets. <laughs> it's bad for me. Ah, it was a bad business day. Yes. No, no business today. Oh, okay. But December yeah. is coming, you know, November is coming, December is coming. So hopefully yeah. it'll get better, right? Yes. It, the, the price. It, yeah, the ticket. How much? How much money? Mm, what do you mean? How much money? How small is it? Um, the price elevated? No. Right now. Yes. The price are are high. High. Mm, yes. Oh. The price high in November or December. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Because in December it's like, oh, everybody has money. Everybody wants to travel. So, yes, I totally guess it's a little different. <laughs> other, but anyways. In other months, in other months, the people about the people both mm -hmm. both both their tickets uh for December for, for travel ah, for travel okay. December for travel November yes in other months ah okay for so like example, they buy in July in September and uh, uh August. So they buy the, the tickets before. Yes. Mm, okay. Okay, actually, that's a really actually uh -huh. only emergen emergency. Emergencies, uh, like emergency, emergency flights. Yes. But it's not bad, you know, not for the business. Hi Diana, good evening. Thank you for joining. Olga, good evening. Thank you for good joining evening. too. How are you? Ariela, good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos, Miss. Uh, girls, espero que se sientan mejor. I hope you're feeling better. Y gracias por siempre, you know, uh, unirse a la sesión. Are you all right, Ariela? So, I'm better. Better? Yes. I no fever? To, I have to, to take more pills. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But the good thing is that you're feeling better. So hopefully it'll go over. Um, you'll get over soon. Oh, but yeah, I imagine it must be really hard like, to be at home and everything. All right. Olga, how are you? How you doing? How was your uh, Friday? My Friday is... It's so busy because I have a uh, mistress in my house. Mm -hmm. I have a a son, um, newborn. Se dice así. A newborn. Yes. Yes. But that's not your baby, is it? Yes, it's my baby. So it's, wait. Uh -huh. Wait, you got a new you got a newborn? Yes. Okay. Wow. So congrats. Thank congratulations. You. I was like, wait, what? 
<laughs> because it happened to me in another level that the girl told me, oh, teacher, I'm pregnant, but because of the camera, you don't know. So <laughs> you can just say I'm pregnant. So I'm like, what? Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me let me get that straight. So you gave birth today? Um, sorry, I don't understand. Okay, you mentioned that there was a newborn, right? Yes. Okay, like a recent nacido. So is that your baby? Yes. It's okay. my baby. She, she's uh, 20, 25 days. Ah, okay. Okay. But is she okay? Yes. Yes, it's he. It, I'm okay and he's okay. Is it a girl? He's boy. Oh, it's a boy. I'm sorry. I heard she. Okay. Oh, it's a boy. Wow. So wait. It's emotion. You, you had the baby when we started classes, I guess. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, what? Okay. I'm super impressed. Wow. But Olga, I have never heard your baby crying during classes. Uh, uh, I creo que un día nada más. Yeah, I have never heard your baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Are you doing just fine? Are you doing all right? Like handling yeah. mother stuff, student stuff? <laughs> I, I'm fine, teacher. I llevo las dos cosas y estoy luchando para, para oh, llevarla okay. bien. Uh -huh. Oh, super, super. Okay. Well, sounds amazing uh, and, and great for you. I'm really, really happy to hear that. Thank you so um, much. Okay. I see like Guadalupe around. Susana. Hi, Susana. Acabo de leer su mensaje. I just read your text. Thank you so much. And uh, espero mejor, Miss. I hope you feel better. I guess like this flu is like killing everybody. And Tatiana, good evening. Thank you for joining. And I think I saw Guadalupe there. So really nice to have you guys. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad, Diana, because yeah, these you know, flus are just terrible. And everybody's like getting flu already, guys. So uh, we're gonna like work a little bit with the ending of uh, unit number three today. Guys, we are finishing classes next from this to next Monday, right? Like a week and a half, a week and a day. <laughs> so, uh, so pretty much from this one to uh, next week, we'll be finishing class of just uh, six more sessions to go, right? And we finish intermediate six and then you got to advance. So amazing job, so really, really cool. Um, To get started today, I just got Oh, I'm sorry, Diana. So that's COVID. Oh, Ariel as well, right? So bad. But hopefully um, you'll get to, to feel a little better. All right, guys. So we'll continue talking um, about crisis today and uh, also a little bit of decision making. Mm, to get us started, we, are, we have always like this debate question debate topic today is kind of silly i have to say but still the idea is to speak generate ideas uh, share ideas tell us what you think and of course we respect whatever idea you may have so the first uh, topic i got for you guys is people should never date a co-worker all right, um, so what are your thoughts about this statement? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you agree with this one? Do you disagree? Do you have any um, office rumor or office gossip <laughs> you want to share with us uh, about dating or your coworkers, you know, anything that you have heard? anything you know. Guys, what do you think about this one? Do you agree or do you disagree? People should not date a co-worker. So what are your thoughts? Are you in agreement or um, do you disagree with this idea? Mm -hmm. 
I agree, teacher. Oh, hi. Okay, hi. <laughs> Why? Um, well, in my personal case, I wouldn't like to date someone in my work because I think that makes the things complicated in case things didn't work. Okay. And also at my work, I can see it um, when the when the employees want to grow, these kind of things are um, like a like a barrier. Problem. Yes, like a barrier to do uh, to do it. Why? So, because I I mean if if the person wants to be a supervisor. Mm -hmm. um, and the boyfriend or the girlfriend, it is an agent. Um, it can be problems because podría favorecerlos. Ah, you mean they can have like favorites in the company? Yeah. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. in my company, it is forbidden. <laughs> ah, okay. So it is a policy. It is not permitted to date uh, co-workers. Okay. Yes, okay. but they do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the point. <laughs> okay, yes. so um, even though it is forbidden, <laughs> I guess it's human nature, right? Uh, to do it anyways. But but in your case, like Diana, personally, you're like definitely against these yes. regulations. Or they shouldn't date. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Teacher. Yes. I think that shouldn't, shouldn't happen because if you want to be focused, that kind of things make you lose the lose the focus on 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 your on your work. Mm -hmm. And because you are thinking or you are uh, I don't know, you are just thinking in the other person is his he's talking with another girl or what is he doing so i think it's it's not a good idea oh okay because the person is there and you can monitor the person at all times <laughs> yes something like okay so you can it can get a little toxic sometimes i lost or, my best friend in my job that's that reason for that reason oh okay <laughs> but it, but is your friend all right with the boy or I don't know if it's a a female friend or a male friend. No, female. Yeah, okay. But are they still together? Yeah, they they are together, but she only she's on she's only thinking about him. She, she he's in the about lunch. you. Yes, he he's she's in lunch with him, and she's <gasps> in whatever place she's. She is with him. So I lost my best friend for that. No, <laughs> there was a bad friend. So friend, you should tell her that friends come first. <laughs> okay. yeah, she doesn't oh. understand about that. She is oh. in love. She is right now. Ahorita no me digan nada. Ahorita She's in the, ham in the honeymoon stage <laughs> still. <laughs> Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you think? That is a really nice um uh, what a point that Tatiana mentioned that you can lose your friends, especially when they are like co-workers. So um because they focus on the other person and they forget about you. Uh guys, what about you? What do you think? What about the rest? Are you uh, against? Are you in favor? You think it's a good practice, a bad practice? Hi, Mr. Rivas, how are you? Sí, teacher. How, how you doing? Are you with us today? Yeah, I, I'm sick. Oh, Maybe no you kidding. <laughs> You're sick too? Yes. <laughs> Is it COVID too? Uh, I hope so. No. I hope so. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, you have it's not COVID. Ah, okay. Because I heard like your voice um kind of hurt. So oh, but are you working? Are you at work? Today, no. Ah, okay, nice, nice. So it is really nice to have you and really nice that you can participate with us. 
Um, hi, Nelson. Good evening. I hope you're all right. Good so, evening. good evening. Good evening. Uh, so, Mr. Rivas, what do you think about this? Uh, people should never date co workers. Are you in agreement with this? No comment, teacher. No I, comment. Because <laughs> I divorce. Ah, okay. No, no, no. But I mean, in general, so we are not talking about you, right? We are talking about like co workers, you know, like for example, two of your co workers date. I'm so, married with my co worker. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh my wow. god, That's but you have experience there. Come on. <laughs> So you can you can share your 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 point of view on that. <laughs> 18 together, but uh, doesn't work. And How long have you been married? Uh, 18 years. Wow. Okay. So that's a long time. Okay. Almost life. Okay. It's a lifetime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. You mentioned what, what is the problem when you date a coworker? No, <clears throat> no meet um, or I, I don't know, uh, the relationships is a, is a kind of lie because okay. uh, you share every day uh, okay but i uh, when you convive uh, share or I spend time spend time in the same uh, home house mm -hmm. is different ah and okay so <laughs> i don't i don't agree you don't agree for that wait so you don't agree that means uh, because this one says people should never date a co-worker should never yes uh -huh. so you, you agree with this do you agree with this statement that it's a bad idea it's a bad idea teacher ah okay okay well juan carlos thank you so much for sharing that and very nice, very nice way to express your opinion. Sounds really good. Um, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, tell us. <laughs> so tell us something about this topic. Um, Norma, good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, I see me sit on too. So thank you for joining as well. Guys, anybody wants to share his or her opinion on this? Yes. Uh, good evening. Hi, how are you? Are you feeling better? I'm feeling better. Okay, um, your, your voice sounds better too. <laughs> A little better. Um, but, but are you having like this flu, cough and everything? Um, I'm feeling a uh, headache. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, I don't know how do you say nausea. Nausea. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's really bad. I hope um, you but... feel better. Okay, okay. So, Guadalupe, I I read that you said this is a hot topic. So, <laughs> okay, tell us what do you think. In my company, middle that my club my. Mm, Co -worker. For workers, mm -hmm. working it's um, a favor. A lot. And the other, and contra. <laughs> uh, that uh, relationships and the work. Okay. Because uh, are many uh, people jump, and it's impossible <laughs> if you stay in a, a place more 10 hours and uh, that no no happen anything mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, in general interpersonal relationships are complicated 
and okay. if there are with a partner more uh, with a couple okay. more in my company uh, there are police and polices? polices and polices mm -hmm. and this regard regard to regulate okay um, because it's impossible <laughs> i mean yeah we say you shouldn't you shouldn't but yes it is not possible mm -hmm. to stop people right from dating what, what are the policies in your company um I don't know what, how, how it's translated, but hay una que es sobre el acoso, que habla, pero no sé cómo se dice. ¿no? Ah, harassment. It is about harassment. Harassment. Okay. So there is other, a policy about harassment. Okay. Other is, que tampoco sé cómo se dice, sobre los privilegios, o que, o que, ajá, como privilegios. Privilegios. Ah, to have favorites. Uh -huh. To have favorites. Uh -huh. To have favorites. Okay. Sobre esas dos. But it is not. It is not like forbidden to to date somebody. It is not. Uh, yeah, forbidden. You know, I'm I'm trying to look for another word. So it is permitted, is it? Yes, it's permitted. Okay. But it is permitted, but not to have favorites. Yes, but ideally, um, don't do uh, it. <laughs> the couple, the couple, uh -huh. <laughs> go to the interference with the work. Ah, okay. Other, this is impossible. Ah, okay. Okay, but well, that's a, a really nice point. Thank you, Guadalupe. It's really nice to hear you. Like, very good job in, in expressing those ideas. So, really nice. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, Mr. Villada, good evening. Thank you for joining too. So, it is really interesting, guys, to listen to your opinion because you got the experience, you got the knowledge on that. So, really cool job with that. No, guys, uh, today we're going to, I know that some of you are sick, so we're going to try to work uh, not in, you know, um, effort your throat that much, okay, but we're going to try to work uh, with listening, uh, reading, um, speaking a little bit combined so we can work on everything together, as well as reading and vocabulary building. So I have for you one little exercise. Um, this one is a reading and pronunciation exercise at the same time. Uh, this is a reading, but uh, I'm going to do the following. Give me a moment. Guys, I'm going to share the link for this exercise because I want you to listen to the exercise too. All right. So please click on the link. And you will see um, this story. It is called Noisy Neighbors Quiet Down. That is kind of crazy. I want you to listen to, the, uh, to this reading. I want you to pay close attention to the pronunciation. And if you find new vocabulary, I also want you to write the words that you don't know. Select the new vocabulary. Uh, listen to as many times as you need. And then we are going to work with the new vocabulary you find, and we're going to try to read the story too. So guys, I'll give you uh, like seven, eight minutes. Um, please listen to the story. It is in the link. It is the same story, right? But you will see, and you will listen to the pronunciation of some new words like blasting, marched, right, uh, re-entered, re so you can listen to the pronunciation of everything, and later we will try to work with that vocabulary. So guys, we have seven minutes. Let me know if you have difficulties accessing the link, please, or if you don't have access, and just listen, read, and try to get as much, uh, as much vocabulary as possible, right? Seven minutes, guys.
guys, how are you doing? I finished, teacher. Okay, new vocabulary. Did you find any new expression, any new vocabulary in the in the reading? Even if you go to the end of the exercise, you will see a couple of new words. Uh, for example, you have barely, baseball bat, blast, crazy, knock, note, promise, scream, stereo, surprise, etc. Uh, did you find any new word? Something new for you? Blasting. Okay, just blasting. Okay, okay, guys. So while the rest, if the rest of the guys if finish, let's write, uh, please, one sentence, right, with the new words or new expressions that you found. Um, so if blasting or in the next paragraph you have blast, um, I don't know what it says. Oh, right here. He blasted his stereo. So if this is a new expression, let's write. I'm sorry. Let's write a sentence, please, with the new vocabulary. I'll give you some more minutes so everybody finishes.
All right, guys. Um, so be uh, besides blasting, uh, is there any other word that you found the kind of new? Uh, teacher, I was reading about and rent, rented, rented. Ah, yeah. It, this is like a two word. Uh, yeah, two word word. <laughs> so re-entered. Ah, uh, so she re-entered. Re uh huh. When she re-entered her apartment. Okay. Okay, guys. So but uh, it's similar, it's similar to uh, inside. Yeah, I mean if you eliminate the re, so R E Enter. it's just entered. Uh -huh. But enter again. <laughs> so that's okay. why re-entered. Uh-huh. Okay. So okay, guys. So let's take a look at this reading. Uh, we have blasting, right? What did you find as blasting? What is blasting? Her upstairs neighbor was blasting. What is that word? What does it mean? Like an explosion, teacher? Like an explosion, yes. So, but if we are talking about music, uh, was blasting his stereo again. So what do you think it can refer to? Teacher, good evening. Hi, Mr. Palma, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I'm Everything sorry good? for late connection. <laughs> oh, no, no worries. You're always welcome. Okay. I think I just uh, saw Jorge too was uh, like... Okay. I was Hi, my Christian. best effort for, for, to be on time, but what not possible. Oh, all right. No, no worries. You're totally fine about uh, it. About was there a lot of traffic? No. A lot of... Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, about the blasting or mm -hmm. I think is the excess for the volume volume yes uh, in the in the audio in the stereo exactly exactly so yeah blast can be like an explosion but in this case because we're talking about music that would be like super loud music super loud. right when you see like the stereo uh you see the speakers and they're like boom boom <laughs> so that would be <laughs> blasting right okay uh so guys help me read it you already listened to the pronunciation so help me read it please guys who is feeling okay um, so we don't, you know, effort your throat that much. Norma, can you help us read the the light blue one, please? First paragraph. Yes, please. Uh, is your voice okay? Are you doing all right? Uh, no, so so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody's feeling fine and sick. Okay, yes, please. The light blue one. Barbara could take take it anymore. Her, her upstairs neighbor was blasting his sister again. She had asked him with twice, I ready to turn the vol volume down. The first time she asked, he was surprised. He said he didn't know that she could hear his sister. All right, thank you so much. There we go. Um, guys, who else is feeling all right? So, to help us, you know, read the next one. We're gonna split because it's kind of long. Okay, Nelson, can you help us with yes. the next one, please? Where it says yes, up to a stereo again. Okay, and they say yes, yes, she's high. It is, it is just like your stereo was in my living room. I can hear every, every note. Beside, beside he will keep it down. Mm -hmm. She happy that the was a telling the truth. Yeah. Or the court, he wants the very next day. He blessed his stereo. Thank he you so much. Oh, that, that's all right. Thank you so much, Nelson. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Uh, to make you effort your voice that much. Hey, Tatiana, help us with the following part, please, from She Marched, uh, from this part up to the ending of this paragraph. Uh, where teacher? Oh, I'm sorry, R right here. Uh, wait, let me just note it. Hold on. Uh, right yeah. here? 
Uh, she, ma she, she marched upstairs to remind him on his promise. He said the volume was so loud that he could bar barely hear it. Hear, uh -huh, hear it. Hear it. Mm -hmm. Hear it. He, uh, she, asked, she asked him to turn it lower. He said he will try it. Barbara could swear that when she re-entered re 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 her apartment, the music was so, was louder than when she had walked upstairs. Thank you so much. All right. So imagine, guys, that you have a neighbor like this. Wendy, can you help us, please, in this part? So, so this was the third time. She took her baseball but upstairs with her. She knocked very loudly on his door. When he opened the door, she screamed at him like a crazy person. She told him she would, would kill him if he didn't turn the music down and keep it down. His eyes got big. She went back downstairs. She could hear a note. I can't believe I said that she told herself. All right, guys, what do you think about this story? I mean, the first time she was like very polite, please, can you turn it lower? The second time she was really angry because it was even louder. So the third time she got the baseball bat, she went upstairs and she was like, you know, uh, she was screaming like a crazy person and it worked. But guys, do you think it was the best way to solve the problem? <laughs> Was it all right? Or in your case, uh, I don't know, what would you have done? Teacher, uh, when, when I read this history, mm. with story, uh, I think uh, it could be when, when we have a, a neighbor, uh, that are very noisy. Uh -huh. uh, I, I I consider it it, it could be uh, that people <laughs> like the uh, story. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, couldn't take it anymore. For example, yeah, right. uh -huh. for example. Uh, one neighbor told me uh, she uh, she couldn't take it anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. Your uh, the your noise. neighbor, your neighbor, because he uh, always uh, the the sound of. Uh, stereo always <laughs> it's uh, uh, blasting okay so and, and he so, told me uh -huh. yeah, she, she told me that the the last the last time uh, she she was uh, she was going to to call the the, the police police yes for this situation and it's very common to to have a neighbors okay wait i think i got lost in the in the middle of it so one of your neighbors had a problem with another neighbor yes or neighbor. you had a problem with a neighbor yes a uh, uh, one neighbor had, had a, a problem with the other neighbor for that situation. Ah, okay. So imagine it is not like so 
uh, far away from reality, right? So these yes. normally happen in, in our country too. Yes, Tatiana, tell us. Yeah, yeah but, but in my neighbor, the house is, is, is uh, closed. Close to each other? Yes, close. Yeah, okay. Other, yes. Yes, that happens with my neighbors too sometimes. But uh, it's okay for me because they play rancheras and I like rancheras. <laughs> that kind of, tell us, tell us what, what, have you ever been into this situation? Have you ever been into this problem? In my, in my neighbor, um, there are uh, some people, they used to drink in the park of the neighbor. So okay. they, they listen a really loud loud the music and my my brother's wife she always called the police <laughs> and wow. they finished the party because uh, my my brother's wife she can sleep about the music and the whole noisy and she's always called the police in my case i don't have that problem because in this building only our all people so i don't have that oh problem. nice okay <laughs> but oh, my brother has nice. that problem <laughs> but but so has your brother's wife i don't know has she talked to the people before do, does she normally talk to these people before calling the police or she's just like you know what i'm gonna call the police whatever happens yeah. <laughs> the thing is is in the in the park uh, they used to put the sometimes uh, I, a small group and they play they play songs or, or music and another another times they have a big uh, I don't know how to say Party? a big no uh, a big stereo ah, and, like a like a speaker like one of these yes. ah okay so oh. they they can sleep because they the music is very loud, so she oh. she can speak with the people because there are many people there. So oh, okay. uh, she decided to call the police. There and is no point in talking to them. Okay, you know, um, some years ago I used to um, I I had like it was not a roommate. It was like the apartment next door. You know, so we had these uh, neighbors. Uh, and they were in a band. They were in a rock band. So sometimes, especially on Wednesday and Thursdays, it, it would be like around 9 or 10 p.m. And they would start rehearsing or practicing, you know, with everybody in the band. So I was like, oh, my God. Um, I didn't feel like calling the police, although I, I knew that it was a, a good um there was a good reason to do that, but I was like, um, you know, I cannot sleep. So <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> it didn't bother me that much, but yes, I totally get your point. So it is really annoying. Guys, any, has anybody else been into this situation? Have you ever had a, a really loud neighbor? What do you think about her decision or, the, um, yeah, about like going there with a baseball bat, knocking at the door, and being really aggressive. I mean, it worked, but do you think it was a good way to solve the problem? Or would you have just called the police? What would you have done in that case? No, it, was a, it wasn't a good idea because imagine the, the guy was drunk. Uh, it couldn't be worse, I think. So ah, okay. Sometimes you have to try to call down because you don't you don't know how to the situation ends. So I think it's not a good idea, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a really good point, definitely. So it was not a good idea. Imagine the guy was drunk or he was he had a weapon, right? Something could have gone bad. Okay. Guys, do you have any other recommendation in this case? Do you think it was a really good idea or what would you what would you Hi, have done in that case? Hi, Guadalupe. In, in, uh, Guadalupe. In Guadalupe. Hi. Ah, there you go. In my neighbor, in my house, uh, we have a neighbor 
that are some sometimes uh, nice, mm -hmm. but ah, okay. uh, call the, call them the, the police. Uh, okay. They don't do any. Oh, just say um, the revenge is a dish, is an enjoy. Oh. So the, the revenge is <laughs> is a dish, um, and that that do that you enjoy free or cold dish. What do you mean? So these people start making a lot of noise, and if you call the police, the police doesn't do anything. So yes. I'm sorry, I don't miss that. I I don't get that part. I missed it. So what do they do as I as a revenge? The my sister say that a revenge lunch is a dish, a platillo, a dish, es un platillo. Es un platillo, a dish. Oh, got it, got it. That was, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, you no, mean the expression, no, right? No. So, uh -huh, so, un plato que se come helado, something uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> you always, I was like, wait, what's that? <laughs> okay. I was thinking, like, too literally. Okay. But, well, my, our neighbor uh, called my uncle and say, uh, if they come on my, um, on my house. <laughs> ah, okay. Y mi vecino llamaron a mi tío, ahí dijeron que se podían venir. No funcionó. Why? No funcionó, no funcionó el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La revancha. Okay. But, but, I mean, if they are your neighbors and they get really loud, you should do the same, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm giving you my recommendations here. <laughs> so if they play loud music, so play loud music too on the days that they are sleeping. <laughs> really bad recommendations. Okay, so take a look at the following. Um, if you remember in the previous unit, we were talking with conditional number three, uh, and we were talking about things that could have been different in the past. Today, we are going to just use the second part of the conditional to talk about these things. How do we do it? Um, for example, we have this, this uh, scenario in which the girl got a bat and that was really dangerous. So I can tell, for example, I can give recommendations about all these past things, just simply using could have, as, as you have it here, would have or should have. So she could have uh, called somebody, right? So she could have called somebody or she could have, she could have asked for help, right? Or she could have, I don't know, called the police, for example. So I'm sorry, I'm missing one word here. So she could have uh, called the police, she could have asked for help. So if you remember, we can use could have, would have, and should have to talk about past ideas. So uh, I can also change could, and I can use should if this is more a recommendation. So she should have uh, called somebody. Uh, I think that, for example, ella tuvo que haberse tranquilizado antes de ir. So she should have come, she should have come, right, before uh, going there. Guys, do you have any recommendation for this scenario? Because what she said was really bad. So she said, you know, uh, let's go back and let's check it out. It says, um, she screamed at him like a crazy person. She told him she would kill him. I mean, if he didn't turn the music down. So it was really, really tough. So um, what do you think she should have done? In this scenario, guys, give me some recommendations. Como ya pasó, so we can use a should for past recommendation. She should have. ¿Qué debía haber hecho, guys? She should have. What do you think this woman should have done? 
she should she should have called the police. Okay, right. yeah, she should have called the police exactly. Any other possibility here? Uh, she should have used an air 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 airpods airpods. Ah, okay. She should have uh, used uh, some earpods or some earphones, right? Or some headset. Uh, <laughs> headset, yeah, something you know to cover her own ears. Aunque no funciona, but still, <laughs> we never know. Ah, she should have. Probably se tuvo que haber tomado una. Guys, how do you call the pills? Uh, last time you recommended chlorophyll <laughs> to fall asleep. So she should have taken. Sin sueño. No, sin sueño, no, right? Or no, yes. no. Eh, hace también <laughs> a pena o chlorophyll. A chlorophyll, <laughs> she should have taken a chlorophyll. ¿Cuál es la otra que ya está por el vivo? No, la one that is for vive. Ah, ya se van. <laughs> she should have taken something to fall asleep, right? Uh -huh. So normally we can use, uh, ya no todo el condicional, but we can just use a uh, could have, would have, or should have to give some recommendations. So uh, take a look at this exercise, but before we complete it, I want to go to the material give me a moment in your book guys in your material you have in page number 31 you have this uh, this topic so just give me one second let me just move here a little bit and let me show you here right no There we go. So it is in page number 28. Let me present that so we can complete some exercises. Um, so in this page, you have this scenario that says past models. And we have used the past model to talk about situations that didn't happen in the past or obviously things that happened in the past. And we have could have uh, used could have to express that something was possible in the past or to express that someone had the ability to do something in the past but decided not to do it. For example, the manager could have prepared a contingency plan but he decided to focus on something else. So could have is abilities the person had pero no las usó, right? Or possibilities in the past. Uh, guys, alguien me ayuda a leer uh, the following. Can you help me read should have? Uh, you should have. Um, yes, yes, Claudia, please. You should have. Uh, you should have a class for participle to make suggestions in the past or to say that something would have been a good idea, but that it wasn't done. Mm -hmm. Uh, the company's employee should have kept calm. Thank you so much. All right, very good. So yes, we can use this in the scenario, right? So the woman should have kept calm. All right, because she was not. Thank you. Guys, who wants to help me read would? Use would have. Use would have plus past participle to show past willingness, willingness. Mm -hmm. it is similar to the third conditional but mm -hmm. and if clause is not required already thank you so much exactly so it says here that ya no necesitamos toda la estructura solo would have could have or should have and we have the example, our public relations department would have done a better job, but they didn't receive any report on the issue. So would have, should have, could have. Remember that um, this is the, the contraction 
in the in at the moment that we try to use them verbally so we can contract them too so guys repeat them conmigo please this is could have could have should have should have would have would have super yeah. crazy but that's the one okay it says here complete the sentences with past model and the verb and hence in parentheses for example number one uh, the crisis manager team could have porque hablamos mm -hmm. de posibilidad could have created a plan mm -hmm. to reduce the impact of crisis on the company finances but they were too busy with pr scandal so it says here, or the hint is past possibility. So tenemos que for possibilities, again, when something is possible, usamos could have, or when we are talking about abilities. If we are talking about suggestions or something that is a good idea, we use should have, like a recommendation. And would have, is willingness. Guys, what is the meaning of willingness? Any idea what is willingness? So, could have. Mientras tanto. Should. Willingness. Should have. And would have. So, what is the difference? According to this one, it says could have is possibility. Possibility. Should have is a recommendation or a good idea, right? And would have is willingness. So what is willingness? Any idea? Willingness. Like when you say, oh, yesterday I felt so bad and I had a terrible flu. And you say, ay, pero, you know, yo te hubiera llevado al hospital. So expresamos, eh, you know, deseo de ayudar. So that is called willingness. Oh, I would have taken to the hospital, right? If you wanted to, or I would have. So would have is for a recommendation, but more in the sense of, eh, hey, you know, yo deseo ayudar. So I wish I could help you, right? That is the one. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this exercise. Um, and we have over here, number two. So we have the verb be, and we have suggestion in the past. We have request, and we have past willingness. Uh, also we have um, use, and we have past possibility, and we have past possibility here again with verb so we can use this one could have possibility should have recommendation good idea would have willingness guys let's try to complete this exercise following the, the hint please following these ideas so i'll give you like three four minutes What the meaning willing willing willingness is like deseo, but pero en el sentido no de que deseo algo, right? But in the sense that me gustaría ayudar. So willingness to help. Oh, okay.
almost ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look super quick. Um, so we have number two. Guys, what do you have in number two? We have suggestions. So first, let's identify. What can we use in number two? Could have, should have, or would have? Should have. Yeah, right, because it's a recommendation. So should, should have, should. or should have. Mm -hmm. And then we exactly pass participle of verb three. So the manager should have been honest mm -hmm. with the employees about the product recalls. Do you have the same? Something similar? All right, if not, guys, let me know, or if you didn't get it, let me know, and we go over this again, no problem. Sure. Number three, we have past, uh, past willingness, right? So we have the mm -hmm. word willingness. Okay, first, willingness. let's go over this. Willingness would be would have, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one right mm -hmm. here. So the president... Yeah. Would. Como es willingness, would, have, and we have the verb request, request, but we need past participle, so requested. The president would have requested for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. So, él hubiera querido, he would have requested. ¿Tienen lo mismo? Do you have the same? Mm -hmm. Nelson? Yes. You have uh, the same? Number four is okay. should, should. Okay, yeah. So the employees should. Siempre le vamos a agregar have, exactly. Okay. So the employees should have, and we have take, pero no puedo usar solo take. I'm going to use past participle. Mm -hmm. The employees should have taken the deal. Ellos debieron de haberlo tomado, but they preferred to go on a strike. Guys, ¿qué era strike? What was the meaning of strike? ¿Alguien recuerda? Do you remember? Strike. Uh, no. Uh, yes, no it's remember. when they, uh, you said about the example of the buses, buses, buses. Yes, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. It is so, like a mani manifest, pro a protest, protest. Yes, a protest, exactly. So yeah. they stop working, right? They say today we won't work. Mm -hmm. So that is on a strike. Number five, when the earthquake hit the suppliers and we have possibility, what is for past possibility? Easy. Oh. Could have, okay, so the suppliers could have, and then we need the past participle of used, that is used. So could have used different routes of transportation for the deliveries. Um, and number six, it says possibility again. So what we use for possibility? To have. Again, that would be could have been, been. Mm -hmm. the crisis been. could have been avoided with good planning uh guys lo tienen así do you have it like this yes yes oh very nice okay good job really really good job with this so give me one minute preguntas guys do you have an equation with this No, teacher, I think it's clear for me. Okay, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised because normally this topic can be a little bit tricky. All right. So, guys, uh, I just got a, a couple more possibilities, a couple more exercises here so we can practice it. Uh, this is in the, your platform. Guys, no sé si ya completaron la plataforma. This is in your platform. So we have the use of could have, should have, and would have. So remember, could have, possibility. Should have, uh, recommendation. Would have, willingness, o algo que me hubiera gustado hacer, right? 
Um, also, we can express negative sentences uh, with this topic. So we can use could not have, should not have, or would not have, right? So guys, help me with the rest of them, please. But there are a lot of exercises. So we are going to split uh, most of you so you can help us with the answer right here. So number one, uh, Nelson, please help us with number one. Uh, Claudia, number two. Uh, Juan Carlos, no sé si Juan Carlos está ahí, number three. Uh, Mr. Palma, number four. And uh, Guadalupe, number five. Hi, Mr. Valle, are you with us? Yes. Nice, nice, welcome. So number six, Mr. Valle, please. And uh, Norma, help us with number seven. Um, Susana was not there. Tatiana, number eight. Wendy, number nine. And Olga, está por ahí. Sí, teacher. Okay, help us with number 10, please. Okay. Help us with the last. So only one, guys. Try to complete only one, and then uh, you can help us with the rest. Si alguien is struggling or tiene dificultades, you know, completing that one. Guys, I, I feel like uh, telepáticamente me han pasado la alergia. <laughs> so I got allergies now. <laughs> so hopefully it's just allergies. I 
well, remember it can be positive or it can be negative, right? Um, and if it helps, so remember too that we use um, should for a recommendation, could, cuando es una posibilidad, right? And would have when it is willingness. So algo que hubiéramos querido hacer, something that we wanted to do. Uh, are you ready, guys? Do you need more time? Ready. Okie dokie. So number one, Nelson, what do you have in number one? It says, I not send the email, I apologize. I should help not sending the email apologies. Okay, okay, so I, negative, right? I shouldn't have sent the email. Oh my God, no debía haberlo enviado. So I shouldn't have sent the email, I apologize. Okay, number two. So number two, Claudia, do you have it? Yes. Nice. We, we really should have listened to the marketing team before deciding on the strategy. Okay, so we really? Okay, can you, we can really you say? should have. Oh, perfect. Yes, I just missed that part. Okay, yeah, we really should have uh, listened, listened, right? So, oh, we should have listened to them. Okay, very nice. Number three, guys, help us in number three. Me, as a business, we Be shouldn't. Right, right, the answer, please. Mm, I think I don't have enough space, but I can write them down in the, in the chat. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Rivas, tell us, please. As a business. We shouldn't afford the investment until now. Ah, uh, okay. So we shouldn't afford afford an investment. Okay, okay. We should not. Shouldn't have sent. Okay, thank you, guys. Who has number four? We really yeah should. Have a lesson. Three. Uh, number four. Me, yeah. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Palma, help yeah. us please with number four. I should have told you about it sooner. But I have only just found out myself. Ah, okay, okay. That's a really good one. So, yeah, we can use I should have told you about it sooner. But if you take a look, it's more like um, more like willingness. Quizás me hubiera gustado contarte, pero lo acabo de descubrir tú. I would. So, ajá, exactly. Sí se puede, I should have. Pero quizás por el significado es más como me hubiera gustado contarte. So I would have told you. Yo te hubiera contado, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I would have told you. But they are number four. Eh, ambas son posibles. Both are possible. Even could suena bien. I could have told you about it sooner. Yo te pude haber contado. But I have just found out about it myself. So yes, number four, the three possibilities are just fine. Uh, thank you. Number five, guys. Who has number five? E teacher. Okay. Yes, Guadalupe. Tell us, please. Um, he could not have got, get the job even if he had arrived to the interview on time. Okay. So... He, did you say shouldn't? Or couldn't? Or wouldn't? 
<laughs> so which of the ah uh, he couldn't right so no hay forma no hay posibilidad exactly so he couldn't have gotten the job exactly él no hubiera podido he couldn't have gotten the job all right uh, number six guys who has number six me mm -hmm. thank you uh, I guess is we should have lived earlier there is so much traffic and we're going to be late oh okay okay so there's much traffic so we should have did you mention should have yeah I, I, but but i but i i'm um and did the the question with the three possibilities ah um, okay okay <laughs> because so. the, the because the the three uh sounds sí. right to me it, it, ah, it depends okay. maybe okay. in okay pensamos en el significado right so um hablamos de posibilidades recomendaciones or en lo que nos hubiera gustado hacer so number six says eh, earlier there is so much traffic and we are going to be late so now could have, could have the possibility quizás ya no right because ya no podemos we cannot yeah, maybe, use it maybe uh wool would have we would have left earlier there is so much traffic but would have is algo que me hubiera gustado and is there is so much traffic and we're gonna be late so creería que should have like you mentioned suena mucho mejor like debimos haber salido antes so i would say should have in this case sounds definitely better so we should have left earlier there is so much traffic and we're gonna be late yeah because would have is eh, algo que me hubiera gustado pero como ya pasó <laughs> y la oración está en presente so that sounds good guys eh, no se nos olvide utilizar siempre los participios so in the case of number six utilizamos left right so we should have left hubiéramos ido hubiéramos salido antes number seven guys who's got number seven thank you mr bayou Number seven, when I was young. Me, when I was young, I could have been a professional ah, dancer. Okay. But I wanted to do other thing with my life. Oh, nice. Okay. So I could have been exactly a professional dancer. Because that was a possibility, you know, ability. Nice. Okay. Number eight, number eight, yes. Who's got number eight, guys? Me, teacher. Thank you. Uh, you should not have said, you should have not said that in the meeting because now they will give give all the work to us. Okay. Uh, number eight, suena como algo real, right? Something super real, like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. No hubieras dicho eso. You shouldn't have said that. Okay, nice. Number nine, who's got number nine? I, Wendy, I think it's yours. Yeah, not is clear. Not, no, it's clear for me. No, I don't understand. Okay, so yes, it's very similar. This is very similar to the previous exercise. So, eh, pensemos en qué estamos compartiendo. What are we sharing? So, usamos cura, eh, no se complique much in like, ¿qué queremos decir? Decir, right? Sino, um, ¿para qué me van a servir estos? Cura is possibilities. Cuando hablamos de algo que pudo ser in the past. Should have is a suggestion. Cuando decimos, ah, hubiera sido bueno. So, it's a suggestion or a recommendation in past. Because todo es pasado, ya no es de presente. And would have is something that yo quise. En vez de willingness, voy a poner acá wanted. So something you wanted to do, right? Wanted to do. So take a look at number nine. It says, if you had asked me because I had the information. So it says, I help. ¿Cuál suena mejor? I could have helped you. I should have helped you. Or I would have helped you. So, hablamos de, okay, empezamos a, a ver, you know, if it works or if it doesn't work. Cura, posibilidad. 
I could have helped you. Yo te pude haber ayudado. I could have helped you if you had asked me. Eh, ¿Es posible, guys? Is it possible? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Porque yo pude. I could have. Okay. I should have. What about should have? Yo debí haberte ayudado. I should have helped you. Suena bien. Does it sound good? Yes. Pero dice Shura, una, una sugerencia. No, no es. No, porque no es una sugerencia hacia ¿Sí? mí. Suena bien could raro have. que yo me recomiende. Cura, um, ustedes. Ajá. So, could have, yes. Es posible cuando hablamos de, because I had the information. Could have. Era could have. posible. Could have. Could have. I would have could have. helped you if you had asked me. Ah, yo te hubiera ayudado. Yes, yes porque yo quería ayudarle. I yes. wanted to I do. Would have. I wanted to help you. So, más de, una más de una respuesta, it's possible sometimes. So, here podemos usar would have, would have. right? I would have helped you. Yo te hubiera ayudado. Or, yo te pude haber, I could have helped you. También es posible, right? Está en mis manos hacerlo tú. So, eh, ambas podemos usar in number nine. Eh, number ten, Olga, what do you have in number ten? Okay. We couldn't be able to complete the job even if we had more time. Okay, okay. So here tenemos algo extra que es not be able to. So not be able to me elimina todas estas posibilidades en la solgaza. Solo voy a usar could, porque could es lo mismo que be able to o que can. Lo único que acá le vamos a agregar el negativo. So we have, we could not have mm. been able to complete the job. So we couldn't have been able. No, se nos fue posible, right? We couldn't have been uh -huh. able to complete the job. Even Entonces no lleva be able to. ¿Cómo la mis? Yes, pero lo lleva después. So tenemos have. Uh -huh. Le vamos acá uh -huh. a poner be. Pero como be no puede ser solo be, lo voy a poner en participio. We be. couldn't have been able okay. to. Uh -huh. That is the one. So yes, yes, sí lo lleva. We definitely include <laughs> all those things. Okay. Okay, guys, so um, give me just a moment. I think that eh, viéndolo así suena un poquito complicado, but ya lo vamos a usar, guys, so you can get to practice it en cuestiones reales. Uh, take a look at the following scenarios. And uh, wait, give me a moment. Okay, there we go. So take a look at this one. Guys, um, I'm feeling, imagine for a second um, that we are, that we regret the decisions we make. Imagine that I regret uh, moving abroad. So remember, moving abroad is like picture number one, going to another country, right? Uh, I regret moving with my significant other. Significant other, guys, eh, para no decir boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Eh, lover, <laughs> usamos la palabra significant other. So significant other es como su pareja, right? The person you like, the person you love. So I regret moving with my significant other. Opening your business. I regret opening uh, my business. So here we have the pros and cons. So vamos a combinar un poquito los, the good things, the bad things about moving abroad moving with your significant other, opening your business, and of course, también cosas que pudimos haber hecho en el pasado para que no fuera, no nos arrepintiéramos in this moment. Uh, for example, uh, moving abroad. Imagine, guys, that I moved to China. Uh, ¿Por qué creen que me arrepiento? Why do you think that I, I regret moving to China? ¿Qué puede ser malo de China? What can be the bad things uh, or... Language. Yeah. Language. Okay, language, yes. The food. Food. The food. <laughs> okay, so food, language. Please. Maybe the political situation, I guess, ah, is uh, the most okay. difficult thing. Why? Uh, because they have a lot of problems, I guess. Okay. Or maybe they make a lot of problems. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I, don't, I don't really know much about the political situation. 
but, but guys, if, I, you, but... if you know, tell us. <laughs> no, so neither, enlighten the, us. The thing is that it's not the thing that I I don't see so much news, mm, but yeah, uh, uh, but the thing that always I see something from China. Uh, okay, with uh, China, uh, uh, let's see, North Korean are the some of the countries that are really hard to live because they are really strict, strictly strict. Strict. They are strict. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. With the with their population, okay. because they don't allow them to do so much. Uh, ah, that's the only okay. thing. Okay. That's the only thing that uh, I don't like, but. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of, uh, I'm seeing opportunities because mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of people that have a study in, in China, China, for example. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they provide a lot of opportunities, not only for the their own people, but mm -hmm. for the... But it's foreigners too. Yeah, for it, yeah. Ah, okay. Really interesting. Yeah, I don't know much about China, but I think the culture and the... Um, uh you know and how hasty or yeah how fast life is in china would be different to salvadorian life you know so there are a lot of things that we can regret so si voy a dar o hablar de cosas que pude haber hecho diferente i can say oh i could have uh, i could have thought about it you know or you could have thought about it before leaving to another country. So vamos a hablar un poquito de pros, cons y también recommendations o que pudo haber sido diferente para evitar um, los arrepentimientos, right? So guys, tenemos uh, these three situations. Vamos a discutir las tres. We're going to discuss the three of them. But vamos a crear grupos so we can just speak a little bit about that. So give me a moment. Okay, so start. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to ask you to join the group, write some minutes, and uh, so we can talk about it. Uh, Christian, hi, Christian. So, Christian, que se porfa, Miss Eron, stay here. Mr. Bay, stay here. Nelson, que se por acá. Eh, Susana, too. Eh, Tatiana, too. Hey, guys, los demás, vamos al grupo, please. Go to the group eh, para que podamos discutir un poquito estas situaciones. Eh, these situations, les voy a compartir mi pantalla, too, so para que no tengan que um, copiar, imprimir, and everything. And guys, tenemos eh, like 10 minutes, alrededor de 10 minutitos para discutir un poquito pros, cons y que pudimos haber hecho diferently. Eh, guys, let me close my microphone y siéntase toda la libertad de participar, right? And give your opinion, guys. Go ahead, please. Guys, si alguien está teniendo problemas con el inter o siente que se le va a cortar, que se que no hay problema. You're, you're fine here. Si no, guys, vámonos a los grupos, please. Go to your groups. Okay. Feel free to start, please. <laughs> Sorry. Who are the other person? <laughs> Hello, Nelson. Hello. No mandaron Lady a Lady <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hello. Maybe the ladies first, eh? <laughs> no, I mean, you start. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, um... I don't know. As I mentioned, actually, the the teacher says about moving to another country, for example, China. Uh, 
maybe in some point in my life, uh, maybe early, uh, I would have liked to move to China in order to maybe learn the language. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that is the, the pros, I learn the language. And because on these times nowadays is uh, one of the most popular language and also also is used to in, in the international commerce and that's why I will and that's the reason that I, I will I will I will have like to move to China but maybe before maybe like 15 or 20 years uh, earlier. Uh, on these days, uh, I don't think uh, that will be great to be there because the thing that I mentioned is that they are they are really strictly with the with the population. They don't allow them to do some things, but in general, I guess they have uh, really good things that if we don't mention the the thing that they doesn't permit, the the good thing I guess are more. Okay. Maybe in my case, I would like to move in abroad, but not China, actually, because, yeah, China is, is nice, but I don't like the language. I think it's very difficult. Uh, but if I, if I, if I move in abroad, I would like to, to move into Italy because I like the language. And I think is when if you want to go to another country, is easy, uh, easy in, in Europe, Europe, I think. Uh, but I would like to do that because I, I really I really wish to 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 learn another language. And I think uh, known other places and uh, that's why I think it's a good idea for me. Nelson? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two is uh, the moving with your sign up by order. Yeah? Uh, number one, moving up. Uh, moving about. Okay, well, uh, yes, uh, so the continent different other other continent. Uh, for example, uh, Alaska. Really? Alaska. Yes. It's really cold, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also I have heard that Alaska is uh, kind of cheaper <laughs> compared with the uh, uh with another state from the United States indeed. Really? Yeah, I guess there is 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 cheap because uh, because the weather. Uh, yes, because there is n there is not much uh people living there. Oh, okay. I guess that's the the reason. That is the reason. Yes. Yeah, and, and I have heard that some of the person that move to Alaska, they do it for, for that. 
because it's, it's cheap it's cheaper than another uh, estate for the United States. Okay. I mean, I live in, uh, I mean, I like uh, living in Alaska. Nice. Person, I, I, I couldn't live there because I, yeah, I like the, the cold weather, but too much time, I think it's not good for me. <laughs> Also, uh, I have a friend that actually is living in Alaska because uh, actually he was in the in the Air Force, and his wife he, he, his wife is is in the in the in the army, so they moved to to Alaska, and he told me that they almost have uh, around six months with. Uh, with sunlight and six months with uh, with night, so they have a a long time without uh, without uh, sun. Sleep. Yeah. No, I. So they they have a oh, half of the year with sun and the another half without sun. Always night. No. Always sleeping and working. At nine. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 yeah, and when it's the uh, the sun, uh, there is a uh, three, four o'clock in the morning, or two o'clock, and it it's the sun like uh like in the afternoon. Really, I didn't yeah. know about that. Okay, good to know because I didn't know. I have never read even. Even about about Alaska. <laughs> okay, uh, the number two. Are you moving with your significant other? Ooh. Mm. Ah. There is a, <laughs> there is any pros? There is any pros there? <laughs> I don't think so. No, yeah. Uh, 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 I I don't know I I I never uh, have think in the process of dance, uh, uh, to moving uh, with uh, I mean I'm living with my wife and my and my daughters but uh, that was a decision that was taken. Okay. Uh, because because my older daughter. <laughs> so that was not a decision that 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 we we uh, think before. Uh, I mean, Everything she was, was pre <laughs> she was pregnant. Yeah, no, no, nothing of that was was done. Uh -huh. So. That's why uh, I cannot say that uh, I, I, I said and 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 thing in the in the pros and cons, but I guess there is a uh, good things living with somebody, but I prefer to uh, be single. <laughs> not, not be uh, not be single. The thing that I guess. In order to be able to be able to live with somebody, you need to learn to live uh, about the yourself. relationships. Yeah, because if you cannot uh, stay alone, uh, I mean, the first yeah. person that you have to uh, to know it is is to you. know to to know to live with is with with yourself mm -hmm. that the the and I, I i like to uh how to say uh la soledad i like that i, I like being alone yeah Lon lonely 
lonely yeah loneliness Maybe, yeah when i when i'm in in, in my bedroom sitting uh uh, maybe seeing uh, the television or seeing the, the telephone or reading something or doing nothing. I like that when there is a, a piece and that, but also I like to uh, to share my, my time with my wife and, and my daughter. And I, I mean, I, I enjoy, uh, the time when I can, or I, I enjoy my time with myself when I can. Uh, and also I try, I enjoy my time with, uh, with my wife and, and my daughter or with my parents or with my family. I, I'm, uh, I'm saying that I'm the person that I like to be with, with the family. I'm a family guy actually. Yeah, you're right. Well, in my case, actually, I am single and I have a son. He's almost 12 years old. So for me, it's difficult because he he's not a little uh, kid. So if I do <clears throat> that, I have to really think about it because um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a big decision when you try to live with another with your yes. significant other so yes because you have to think not think not only in you but yes. first in him yes That's and he's thing. very complicated so he's only he he's he all the young, all the young only... people are complicated <laughs> yes but he's jealous i think so it's it's complicated. <laughs> no, because but but I I guess he's he's a kind of jealous because he knows that you are only for him. Yes. Uh, but but the thing that when when we are a single person and we have a son or we have a kid, uh, actually we have to think a, a little. bit a little bit uh uh in the in, no I, I, indeed we have to think in in them but we have to to think like we are uh como se dice um cuando piensas solo en uno no son buenos no uh, kind of selfish. Yeah, Perhaps. yeah, kind of self. Yeah, thank you, because mm -hmm. <laughs> he, 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 because you know he will grow up. In some point, he will grow up and he will leave you. So when that happens, how old you will be? It yes. maybe will will not be the the correct. I be. Time I to gonna be alone. In. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's happened because uh, on weekends sometimes he go out with his with he, his father. So when that happens, I really feel lonely. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's, 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 how old is your uh, boy? Yes. How, and, how old is he? Uh, tomorrow uh, he's twelve years old. Ah, okay. Tomorrow. Are you are you having a celebration? Are you doing something for him? Yes, always. Um, I always prepare with balloons, and when he wake up, he looks everything, and his mama, thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, okay, nice. Well, guys, I heard you were like practicing a lot, but let's just wait for the rest to be here because unfortunately we are running out of time. <laughs> teacher, okay. the, teacher, this moment uh, looks like a therapy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Like a therapy. <laughs> like... Actually, English classes are supposed to be, you know, like a moment for you to forget about the rest, you know. <laughs> I, I have I have to say, Mario, 
Mario, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so not uh, what is the name of Milena? Milena, so, Mario, Milena my friend. friend. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> Mario, my friend. <laughs> you know, long time ago, I had this student who used to say, "Teacher, I love English classes because." Uh, whenever I come to classes, I forget about my problems, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and I think that by the end of the day, that is the idea, right, that we can talk about different stuff, that we can, you know, say something, and if you get the therapy from here, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Take it because it is free. It, it is free. That I is thank you for free. Yeah. For exactly. Free. We need it's to charge best. English classes and therapy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really nice. Okay, guys, that was actually quite fun. So, but guys, before you leave, uh, give me just a second. Let me go over the attendance. I haven't taken it today. So, one moment. Because I always lose my attendance. So. Um, oh my God, where are you? Give me one second. Okay, that's not so fast. And this is the one. No. Wait, guys, give me just a moment. Uh, for some reason, it's not working. Okay, guys, so let me take a picture uh, of the attendance because for some reason, it's not working. Just a quick question. Eh, ¿Alguien vio a Jorge? Creo que no había todavía ingresado, right? No, he said it, it was, he was on, on his, his way, way to his home. Okay. Ya creería que just I'm missing him. Okay, guys. I already took a uh, so I think we're good. All right, so thanks everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining today's session. I already took your attendance, so no worries because this got crazy here. And uh, guys, nos veremos hasta el día lunes, right? Uh, thank you guys for the attendance. Please, no se nos queden just casi la última semana or let's say la última semana and uh, we'll be finishing this module. Thanks everybody. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Have an amazing rest of your this, day, of your this night. Monday, this Monday <laughs> is finished? No, miss. We are missing one week. Oh. So we are, yeah, we are finishing uh, from this to coming Monday. Mm -hmm. ah. That's why. Pero ya nos queda poquito. We're just finishing like super soon. Oh. Okay. Yes, but only one more week. Okay, guys. So have an amazing mm -hmm. night, everybody. And I'll see you Monday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See, see you. you. Have a good weekend. <clears throat> Likewise. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Feel uh, better the the, the sick, sick. Yes, every everybody actually is kind everybody. of sick. So yes, guys, I hope you get better. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.